Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. The topic is uh, ventricular fibrillation, uh, which is a condition in which uh, the heart beats in an abnormal rhythm, you know, it beats faster and uh, rhythm is irregular, you know. Before starting the topic, I would like to request you to like subscribe and share these videos to support this channel and if you need more information about any disease any medical condition any um, uh, kind of uh, information about any procedure you know you can visit our website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and uh, you can click the link in the description to visit this website thank you now I'll come to the topic. The topic is uh, ventricular fibrillation, you know. Uh, so, first of all, we need to know uh, what is ventricular fibrillation. You know, the ventricular fibrillation, also known as VF, is a condition, and in this condition, the heartbeat is, uh, it beats in an abnormal rhythm, you know. And uh, your heart uh, should beat in a regular and a steady pattern. But in case of uh, uh, ventricle, uh, ventricular fibrillation uh, it causes your heart to beat quickly more fast and out of rhythm you know and uh, this is an emergency uh, that may be brought on by a heart attack you know so if you are having this kind of uh, problem you should call the emergency services straight away don't waste the time now the next thing is uh, uh, what are the symptoms you know well when the ventricular fibrillation occurs the two chambers in the lower portion of your heart are not able to pump uh, the, uh, to pump enough to move the blood through your body you know and uh, these uh, lower chambers are called the ventricles and uh, this makes your blood pressure drop quickly and keeps blood from traveling through your body you know and as a result the blood cannot get to your vital organs like brain or kidneys or uh, other organs you know and uh, fainting or uh, losing the consciousness are the most common symptoms of ventricular fibrillation and uh, uh, the, the early symptoms may include like uh, uh, chest pain or maybe and dizziness or uh, nausea and rapid and uh, fluttering heartbeat you know and the shortness of breath and uh, uh, these early symptoms can occur one hour or less before the fainting or loss of consciousness occurs you know so these are the important uh, uh, symptoms you know you should always keep in mind and if you are experiencing, experiencing these symptoms uh, and uh, have someone nearby you should call or you or any other one around you have these problems you should call the emergency services straight away you don't you should not wait waste the time you know the next thing is what are the causes of the ventricular fibrillation you know you know the exact cause is unknown and the problem typically is uh, it uh, stems from the interruptions in the electrical impulses that control your heartbeat you know and a heartbeat or the loss of blood flow to your heart can set off the ventricular fibrillation uh, it's all it often begins with the ventricular tachycardia so which is a very rapid heartbeat that changes the electrical impulses in your heart you know and the most often occurs in the people who have the scar tissues from previous heart attacks or the heart muscle damage due to uh, the heart conditions you know and uh, if it is left untreated the ventricular tachycardia will likely lead to the ventricular fibrillation which is an emergency now the next thing is how your doctor will uh, diagnose that uh, you have the ventricular uh, fibrillation you know you know, your doctor use the test uh, to determine if you are at risk of a ventricular fibrillation episode, you know. And the examples of the tests that are used to diagnose include like uh, x-ray, 
and to look at the size of your heart you know and uh, an echocardiogram uh, which uses the sound waves to create an image of your heart when it's working you know when it's in action you know and the electrophysiology study is another test you know in case of electrophysiology study uh, electrodes are placed inside your heart to monitor its electrical uh, functioning electrical activities you know heart monitoring is other uh, test you know in case of heart monitor the electrodes are attached to your chest and connected to a small device called heart monitor and uh, the heart monitor will uh, record you will wear that for maybe 24 hours or 48 hours or maybe more you know and uh, it will continuously record the activities of the heart you know and uh, so it, it is very helpful to uh, notice any kind of abnormality in the heartbeats or blood pressure or any other heart activity you know and the stress test is another procedure uh, in which your heart is monitored while you exercise you know aggressive exercise you know you know the uh, T wave uh, like uh, alternate test you know uh, it can also be done you know it's important test you know and in this type of the test the slight changes in your uh, electrocardiogram T wave are monitored during the gentle exercise and uh, a T wave is one of uh, the heart waves uh, depicted on the electrocardiogram uh, which is a graphic visual representation of your heart's electrical activity you know and the T wave is known uh, for its uh, rapidly changing unsteady behavior you know now this testing can be beneficial in predicting the risk uh, but during a ventricular fibril fibrillation event your doctor must make a quick diagnosis so this includes uh, listening to your heart for the presence of any heartbeat you know and uh, your doctor can also use a cardiac monitor to uh, review your heart rate and rhythm you know uh, now the next thing is uh, once diagnosed then what are the treatment options you know if you are experiencing uh, ventricular fibrillation uh, you will most likely pass out due to the blood loss of your body you know or you will faint you know and uh, in addition to uh, like uh, calling the emergency services straight away uh, uh, the emergency assistance and the CPR or the electric shock uh, to your heart can be vital uh, for the survival you know so you can find the even nowadays you can find the uh, fibrillators in your buses or the trains and airports everywhere you know so it's very important that uh, uh, you perform these emergency uh, kind of CPR procedures you know and when someone uh, trained with the CPR uh, delivers hard fast compression on your chest at a rate of 100 pushes per minute you know uh, it can help to move the blood through the body to the vital organs you know and uh, the new guidelines suggest that the chest compression in the most important maneuver and should be done immediately to maintain the circulation you know and establishing a, an airway and the administration of the rescue breaths are secondary you know and uh, if an uh, automated external defibrillator you know uh, is available which are I just said we are available in the common points like uh, buses or the uh, markets or the schools and the colleges and uh, shopping centers you know so they are very helpful and uh, uh, now the proper training in the CPR can save uh, many lives you know and uh, you should consider enrolling in the CPR training courses uh, available in your area you know and if you are not trained uh, then uh, uh, like uh, suggest that uh, you should uh, get the help from anyone around you who is trained you know and uh, 
when you arrive in the hospital uh, your doctor will monitor your uh, heart rhythm and use the imaging scans to determine if you are there are any blockages in your heart that have uh, led to the heart attack you know and they may also use the medication to minimize the uh, irregular beats and to keep your heart pumping harder you know and your doctor uh, may recommend then uh, like uh, implantable cardioverter defibrillator that monitors your heart rhythms and uh, sends out the shocks when necessary to increase the, or decrease the heart rhythm you know and this is different from an uh, uh, implanted pacemaker which constantly uh, fires to maintain a regular rhythm you know and uh, uh, if any of your heart's artery is blocked you may require cardiac catheterization with the angioplasty which involves the insertion of a thin tube into your heart to open the blocked artery you know and uh, a cardiac stent which is uh, a mesh tube uh, may also be permanently placed in the artery to help to maintain the open it's uh, uh, keep it open you know and uh, the more invasive surgery types such as uh, coronary bypass surgery uh, may also be required and coronary bypass surgery involves the attachment of a healthy artery to your block uh, one you know and this will allow uh, blood to pass the blocked uh, artery and uh, uh, flow smoothly through the newly attached arteries you know and in future you may wish to purchase an AED to keep at your home you know and uh, uh, like uh, uh, bystanders in your home could use this life-saving device to restore uh, your heart rhythm in the event of uh, any kind of uh, uh, ventricular fibrillation episode you know uh, the next thing is uh, about uh, uh, the prognosis you know well getting a person to the hospital when someone is uh, having the ventricular fibrillation is very important and is very vital you know uh, the quicker you reach the hospital there's a greater chance of uh, saving the life you know and uh, death can occur within one hour of when the condition starts you know so other complications can include like coma or loss of uh, nerve function and changes in the mental function you know um, the next thing is uh, uh, is there a chance that uh, uh, it can be uh, prevented you know well a healthy lifestyle is vital to keeping your heart healthy and preventing the ventricular fibrillation which means that uh, you should eat healthy diet you should stay active such as uh, walking 30 minutes per day you know uh, quit smoking if you are smoking you know and uh, maintain a healthy weight uh, healthy blood pressure cholesterol levels should be in the normal limits you know and uh, like uh, if you're diabetic is uh, you should have good control on the diabetic you know uh, so this way this you can increase uh, decrease the risk of getting the ventricular fibrillation thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any disease any medical condition you can visit our website www.diseases and treatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe this channel to support it thank you goodbye